I hope you're doing well today. The last couple of days, we've been looking in the life of Hezekiah. One of the characters, if you've noticed, that is mentioned is Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah. And so for the next couple of, couple of our studies, we're going to be looking in Isaiah. Today's hymn, though, it's the hymn Seeking the Lost. Seeking the lost, yes, kindly entreating, wanderers on the mountain of stray. Come unto me, message repeating, words of the Master speaking today. Going afar, going afar, upon the mountain, upon the mountain, bringing the wand, bringing the wanderer back again, back again. Into the fold, into the fold of my redeemer, of my redeemer, Jesus the Lamb, Jesus the Lamb for sinners slain, for sinners slain. Appreciate it, Lee. Now we left off yesterday looking at Hezekiah when the Babylonian envoy came, and. We, we look at Chronicles and Kings, and we see how they parallel one another. But the prophets, in their respective places, sometimes they will also, uh, obviously they'll also parallel. So, wh what I mean by that, for example, Isaiah 39 at verse 1, At that time, Merodach Baladan, the son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent letters and presents, and a present to Hezekiah, for he heard that he had been sick and had recovered. So that sounds exactly like, because it is what we read yesterday in 2 Kings chapter 20, where Hezekiah is pleased with them and showed them the house of his treasures and silver and gold, all of those various things. And you have the proclamation that is made, the days are coming when you're going to have the Babylonian, Babylonian captivity. Nothing shall be left. And it's a sad thing, isn't it? Now what happens is we come to chapter 40. Comfort, yes, comfort my people. So what we're looking at in Isaiah, you have the captivity. Captivity is going to be 70 years. And after captivity, the remnant comes back. And the remnant has a job. They need to prepare. They need to prepare for the Messiah. And so, we look at our passage Comfort, yes, comfort, my people, says your God. Speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. We're talking about John the Baptist. We're talking about Jesus. So to go from chapter 39, where it's we're pre-captivity, Chapter 40, you're way post-captivity. And so it's, we, we understand it because we're on this side of everything. But this was Isaiah prophesying. You're going into captivity, but that's not the end. That's not the end. It's going to be for 70 years. And then let me tell you what's coming. Comfort, yes, comfort my people. I personally think that phrase there, verse 2, because this is, this is a message of comfort. She has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Actually, I connected that passage recently in the adult Bible class here. I connected it with John. Let me flip over real quick. In John chapter 1, in verse 16, where it says, And of his fullness we have all received and grace for grace. That idea. There's a ch uh, another passage or two where we were looking at that phrase. But I also connected, I believe, with, um, is it Romans, where it speaks about where sin abounds, grace abounds much more. She has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. It's not condemnation here. It's comfort. Comfort my people. And you have the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. 
How did John the Baptist do that? How did he prepare? How were, how were the valleys brought down, or how were the valleys brought up and the mountains brought down? He called them to repent. John the Baptist did no signs. He called the people to repent because the day of the Lord had come nigh. The kingdom had come nigh. Some people did not repent. A lot of Pharisees and Sadducees, they did not repent. Tax collectors and harlots, they're turning from their sins. And so the message, comfort, yes, comfort my people. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway, a highway for our God. As it goes on, as you have, cry out to her. The voice said, cry out. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is as grass, and all its loveliness is like the flower of the field. This is quoted in the New Testament as well, by the way. The grass withers, the flower fades, because the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. forever. Well, what is that word? O Zion, you who bring good tidings. It's the gospel. You who bring good tidings, get up into the high mountain. O Jerusalem, you who bring good tidings... Lift up your voice with strength. Lift it up. Be not afraid. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord shall come with a strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. Seeking the lost. What did Jesus come doing? Seeking the lost. I did not come to call the righteous. I came to call sinners to repentance. And before Jesus came, John the Baptist came. Comfort, yes, comfort my people. Repent, for the kingdom is at hand. There is one standing amongst you whom you do not know. And then all of a sudden, Jesus comes to be baptized. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. John the Baptist had been told, The one whom you see, the Holy Spirit light on him like a dove. Here he is, the Messiah. The Messiah has come. In Hezekiah's time, in the other king's time, those who were faithful, they were looking forward to a time. But with Hezekiah, he's having to look forward through captivity. Because captivity's coming. But eventually Jesus is coming as well. And Jesus is the true consolation of Israel. Comfort. Comforter. As we think about the Holy Spirit as well, Jesus is also called a comforter. And so, we have the message, cry out. As we seek the lost, as the Lord still seeks the lost, and we are instruments of righteousness. It's a call to repentance. Because the Lord, the Lord is merciful. The Lord is forgiving. That's why he went to the cross. Appreciate you. Hope you have a good day. Join us tomorrow for another portion of our daily praise.